Привет, ребята! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. Now we need to get to uh, to our contact, Fox. And uh, apparently he's wounded. So we'll need to get something to give him medical attention with. We don't have any medkits right now. I think I squandered one of them earlier. So we need to find one. And I think these military guys may have some supplies. That's where we're going to go. Try to take some of them out quickly and harshly, like so. And hopefully get our hands on some supplies. Up. Nope. No medkit on that guy. Yeah, as you can uh, see, I can just rush in and rush out. They're too slow to catch up to me. And if they don't hit me, then I'm fine. Alright, so we're gonna change position now. Attack from the other side next. Because they'll be looking in the other direction. At least some of them are. Oops, that didn't work. Gotta eat some bread. Mm, this gun is too inaccurate to deal proper proper range damage, you know. We can try though. Except we have to get away from those grenades. Will kill us otherwise. Bye bye. This is tough. Yeah, they're all on alert, of course, so we gotta circumvent them once more, I think. Hmm. Oh, do we still have some shotgun shots? Well, some. A little bit. Not a lot, though. Let's try and arc around them. And attack from the other side. As you can tell, I'm pretty damn wounded, but I don't want to waste too much of my food. And as long as I can run quickly, it shouldn't matter too much. So they're all gathering up on that hill. Hopefully, I can catch one of them unawares and on their own. Oh. There's one of them. Ah, damn it. Привет, ребята. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Stalker. We're still trying to sneak around here and take these guys out one by one. It's pretty damn difficult. Uh, but maybe we get lucky. There's one. And he has a med kit. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Phew. We can take care of the rest of them later. That's not our main priority right now. Our main priority is to save Fox before he gets wounded or killed or something. All right, we're gonna equip the best one of the guns that we have. Actually, that would have been this one. All right. And we're gonna go in to aid Fox now. In fact, we're gonna eat a little bit because I'm pretty damaged. There we go. But I can't use the health kit for myself. I need it for Fox, who's right here. Wait, where is he? There he is. And like the other guy we we found in the earlier video, he's wounded. We're gonna help him out now. A med kit. Give me a med kit. Here you are, dude. So we can get up. He killed a lot of dogs. One of that's foreshadowing or something. Right, let's talk to him. Thanks. Okay, now I'm listening very carefully. Trader told me you might know something about Strelok. Uh, I'm not reading all of that. Basically, he tells us that we have to go to the garbage, which is the next level. The map, or rather the world, consists of various wide levels. Um, that you can more or less move freely between 
except sometimes there are obstacles on the way and sometimes the monsters are just too... Oh god, are just too big a problem for the viewer. Uh, speaking of monsters, yeah, I guess that's what happens. God, die already. Where the hell? Die already. Uh, I hate dogs. At least now when I'm so weak. We're done with those mutants. Are we really? Hey man, you saved me twice and that's not something I forget. Take this. No, oh, that's a bunch of money. That's awesome. Alright. Now he also has some money. We're gonna trade a little bit with him, I think. But first, we're gonna check whether there are any trophies on these dogs that we just killed. As I said, the chance is pretty low, so we might not get lucky. Nope. Nothing. What's he doing? Oh, he's pulling the, the corpse away. Guess he doesn't like corpses. Huh. Alright. Uh, we got some standard pistols here and a couple of those guns that I don't need. All right, I think we can talk to him now and uh, sell him some of the stuff we got. He should give us a nice price because uh, he likes us after all. So let's sell this stuff to him. He has a bunch of money and I think we can sell him everything except for one of each. Of course we're gonna keep the best one. Okay. Now, as I said, we need a bunch of money. Okay. We need a bunch of money if we want to buy that particular gun. So, that's gonna be our main, our main job in this area. We're gonna try and keep gathering items, selling them. Yeah, in the meantime we'll do some of the main quest, but not too far ahead into it. Oh, there's a dead body here. Did I loot that already? I don't think so. Nope, I didn't. And I just got a PDA location. That's cool. Basically how caches work in this game is they are pre-selected areas and containers that are empty, basically you can already access them. The moment you get the PDA coordinates, these containers will be filled and then they will be put, uh, displayed on your map, um, that little purple circle there on our map is, is, a, is one, such, um, one such cache. And that thing here is a death truck, uh, like in the video, in the intro video. Uh, they transport dead bodies and sometimes live ones uh, out of the center of the zone with those and um, for unknown purposes as yet and this thing is highly radioactive so we're gonna try and grab whatever's in the cache and then get the hell out of there alright now I'm pretty badly irradiated but I got a bunch of med kits so I'm gonna use one army Army med kits are particularly good against um, bleeding, while science med kits, yellow ones, are very good against radiation. But all of them do everything to a degree, so this isn't the best one. And as you can tell, I'm still pretty heavily irradiated, but uh, it should decrease on its own slowly. And if if I'm in real big trouble, I can always heal myself again. Though I'd prefer not to waste another med kit. You do regenerate health automatically, but at a very low rate. At least the default rate is very low. So be careful around that. Oh god, there's dogs. Let's get out of here. We're gonna run around them and hopefully they won't uh, become aware of us and, and try to kill us. Oh, look at that. There's, there's some dude here. Two dudes. And they're neutral. So, no biggie. Hey. He doesn't know shit. Okay, well that's helpful. Oh god. Looks like there's some... some bandits over there. Maybe we can take them out. Hmm. 
military grade, grade weaponry against some bandit. That's good. And where is he? There he is. And he has a nice little machine gun. A uh, submachine gun. This thing right here is an MP5. It's uh, surprisingly a lot more accurate than the gun I already have. But it has a different type of ammunition, which I have barely anything of right now. I'm actually pretty badly hurt. So we're gonna use a bandage and eat some stuff. The radiation doesn't help either. I think there's still more bad guys around here though. Yeah. And I'm out of ammo. Just in time. But we got the last one. And some more food. Excellent. I don't have to use a med kit just yet. Right. And this right here is one of those choke points that they use for level transition. So you have to go through this building. Uh, destroy some crates. Maybe that's something useful inside. Mm, not this time. Nothing here. Nothing anywhere. And then when you go here you get a little pop-up window telling you that you're leaving the area. So we're gonna save. And then we're gonna end the video here. So, see you next time folks. Bye. Bakka.